All right, I've got an announcement. I'm going to start a podcast. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> it's just cool to look like a podcaster. You got to wear headphones. I don't have a microphone. I've got an imaginary microphone here doing my podcast online like everyone else. Nah, I'm just kidding. I've got a lot of files sitting around from things that I started this year and they didn't go as planned. They don't really uh, work or they're not complete videos. So I thought I'm really busy. I have no time these days to go out and and make new current videos. So I'll put some of this old stuff together that's sitting around and uh, make that into a video because, you know, why not? Otherwise it'll never be seen. And the first place we're gonna start is on Skip Mountain near Prince Rupert. Okay, the goal is to climb up Skip Mountain today. We've just crossed the highway and now we're starting up a long logging road. And hopefully we will break into the Alpine where the fun will begin. So I'm not at the summit of Skip Mountain yet, but I'm uh, coming up the ridge and this is an absolutely beautiful view already. Behind me is this beautiful ridge, which we're going to go down now, which connects over to the real peak of Skip Mountain. We just crossed over a sub-peak. We're gonna go scooting. In the middle of this ridge traverse, it becomes the most narrow, and there's a few technical moves of scrambling up and down these ledges. It just becomes a little more complicated with the dog and uh, all the snow. So I think I'm going to turn around for today. And this is a great ridge traverse to come back with a partner or a friend. And you can leave a car at the other end and you could do it one way and go from car to car along the ridge. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, I would love to keep going today, but I'm just gonna call it there. As you can see now, the clouds have swallowed us and visibility has dropped completely. So I'm glad I'm turning around. On my retreat from Skip Mountain, I got soaked to the bone. The skies opened and it poured the whole way down. On top of that, there's a bog you go through halfway down where every step you take is like, your foot is submerged underwater in the peat. So I was as soaked as I'd ever been after that hike. And I'm sure some of you have too, because sometimes the weather really takes a turn for the worse, which happened there. The next place we're gonna visit is Dee's Lake in Northern BC. What a strange place. I got this weird vibe the whole time I was there, and actually only being parked for 20 minutes, half an hour, I had the slow moving vehicle sign, you know, the orange triangle, stolen off the back of my tiny home. Just so stolen, someone had to like get a wrench and unscrew the sign that was off on the back of my tiny home, like, Dee's Lake. Weird. I wonder what the story is behind this place. I really have no idea. Something happened.
I've just driven to the village of Dees Lake in northwestern BC and stumbled upon this abandoned townhouse complex. It's absolutely destroyed. Graffiti and all the windows are broken, all the doors. It's definitely abandoned. The only inhabitants now are one million mosquitoes. There's not much else I can say about that place because I couldn't find anything else about it. Nothing but dead ends. I was just glad to get out of Dee's Lake because the next place we're going to stop is in Chilcotin Cowboy Country. I'm at the Pothole Ranch next to the Chilcotin River. This is reminiscent of the ranching days from the early 1900s. Gordon Mike Farwell bought this place from Louis Vidan, and they named it the Pothole Ranch. In 1919, the Gang Ranch Company bought this property and used it as a cow camp for cowboys for many years. I'll give you a tour of the remains of this homestead. That's a pretty cool view. This is rugged country out here. A stone's throw from the front door, the Chilcotin rushes by with spring melt. The bank crumbles a little closer with every year that passes. I feel like this cabin is straight from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Watch your step on this floor. On a north facing slope, they've even dug a cold cellar into the hillside. The roof is starting to collapse, but back then this would have been the only way to preserve your food for lengths of time. Are there any bats in here? I don't know. On my way to the Pothole Ranch, I literally passed a cowboy on horseback herding cattle down the road and into a, a pasture. It was pretty cool to see, like, that's a really old way of life and it still happens in the Chilcotins, so that was pretty sweet. I hope you enjoyed that. This isn't the usual kind of video I aim to make. I thought all of these clips were mediocre at best, so, but it feels good to get them out there so that at least somebody can see them, you know?